Okay, I'm going to start by turning these studs into the flange part of the manifold. And these should just bottom out in here. It's not a huge torquing operation. You just come with these with these flat flat sided so you can get a crescent wrench in there. So we're just going to turn these in all the way and then we'll mount this. Okay, so we have the studs for the downpipe already threaded in. Okay, get this in place. Okay, put that in there. Okay, now I have the, stud the studded studs and nuts ready. So what I'm going to do here. Slide the gasket in. Now the manifold actually is conveniently holding itself up by the by its mount there on the now I've put a little anti seize on these. It's up to you. I hope never to have to do this again. But heaven forbid I did. Maybe they'd come out. Okay, looks like I'm in. I just basically want to get a couple of these in. Hold the gasket up. Ah, oh, he's a five millimeter. Not a bad plan to have one of these. Ra have a five millimeter ratchet. A little quarter inch will be fine. Thread these things in. Before we go any further, let's move on down to the last two ports. Okay, this also happens to be a Ford part. I went all OEM on this job. This is just sickening enough to make me worry a little bit about some of the aftermarket stuff that's out there. Heard some fairly, and I have a friend also who did this job and wound up replacing the manifold several times because there's his China made. Uh, aftermarket replacement part cracked on them. So I didn't want to do that. Spend the extra money, get the original part. And actually this part, like I was looking at the molding marks, looks like it's made in exactly the same mold as the original. As the original that was installed in this 2000. Which was comforting to me. To know that this is the same part. No question about it. That one's not going in straight. It's easy to get these top ones in here first. Kind of hold it down, then you can get underneath a little bit and wrestle around with those lower ones, which are a little bit harder. So this is really about it, then. I'm just going to be torquing these down. I believe it's about five, five to eight foot pounds on these, which is really next to nothing. They're basically just going to be holding in there. The nut, the nut torque is going to be more critical. Well, there you see. I basically have it mine. So I just got a little quarter inch, three inch extension, five millimeter, to get these studs turned in on the lower end. He has a little bit more than snugged up. I'll check the torque later. Okay, so here we are. We've got it down here. It's not torqued down yet, but the sequence you're supposed to use here, and I got this out of a Chilton's book. One, two, three, four, 
back left at 5, 6, 7, 8. And as with any bolt, you want to do them in stages. Do it part way first and back through again. But uh, that'd be the sequence, and uh, I'm going to get my wrench in there and go at it. Okay, the final attachment for this job is to get the flange bolts back on. So to do this, I rigged this up. I've got these tools right here. You need a little swivel on here, because of course the nut is a little bit misaligned. So this one is supposed to be 20, 25 to 34. So just alternate back and forth, first one side, then the other. So it goes on there evenly. Up on top here, you can use the old direct approach straight in. The direct approach is best. You can do it. I guess I keep them even. Looks like we have a little bit further to go on this one. Okay, that's the idea. 25 to 34 foot pounds, and we'll be testing this out. Okay, time to remount the wiring harness. Make sure you clean the nut up. You know, go over it with a brush. It's the bolt, I should say. Go over it with a brush. I put a little never seize on here too. Just have a little nickel never seize. So, heaven forbid, you to do this thing again. You know, we can get it off. And just put that fastener on with a 10 millimeter. All right, got a 10 millimeter on here. Fat this one down. I also brushed off the contact surface on here because this isn't used for a ground. I believe the ground from the starter might go here. So it's got to be nice and tight and clean. And torque down tight, but not too tight. It's all wrapped up.